Hello, Adam Bazalgette here in Southwest Florida, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. I want to talk to you today about a couple of key principles in how to fix a slice with your driver. This is really one of the most commonly asked questions and besetting sins, if you like, of golfers around the globe. So there's a lot that can be said, there's a lot of components, but certainly let's touch on the two main ones. And that is specifically, and we're assuming reasonable contact, Swing path at the moment of contact, well, to say this represents parallel to the target line, is the swing out or in, almost invariably with a slicer, it's too far across the body. And then perhaps an even bigger component, club face angle at the moment of contact. Believe me, the modern data shows that wherever that club face is aimed at the moment of contact, that's pretty much where the ball's gonna start out. Not entirely, but pretty close to it. And so we've got to get a change in both of those if we're slicing. So let's talk about them in a little bit of detail, one at a time. Swing path, how does the typical golfer get that club coming more from the inside? A lot of people find this very difficult to do. Okay, here's what I would say to you. And again, there's a lot that could be said, but let's give you a couple of, I hope, very helpful principles. The more your hips move towards the target, assuming your head stays still, the more side bend you create in your spine and the more from sweeping and from the inside your club is likely to approach the ball. Most people that slice are entirely too rotary, upper body's too much on top of lower body. They're really accelerating the club too violently at the ball. They're not in this kind of a mode. If you think for a second of skipping a rock across water where you've got to be shallow, you see what your body would look like. It wouldn't look like that. So I'm gonna suggest at times you actually set up, preset your hips to the left, and just make a little baby swing and feel what the swing path would be like. So that's an idea on swing path. Now let's talk about club face because that is critical if you don't get the club face right. We do not want to come in and have a big roll of the wrist. I promise you, you won't be consistent or good if you do that. In many cases when that happens, the handle slows down and the club actually goes more to the left. What we want to feel, and I'll approach the camera here, is the back of this lead hand snaps more towards the ground. So the release isn't so much slow the handle down and do that as it is turn the face towards the ground that way. Ideally, you'd feel that with a real snap and work that club face down. So let's hit one little shot here. Put the ball on a tee. Now I'm gonna do a little partial shot. I'll take my setup, preset my hips forward. You can see how this has affected my path. And I'm gonna snap the face down as I do this. Now you could probably see there that ball had a pretty good size hook. Started to the right and hooking. So I hope those two general ideas will get you started on the way to thinking right. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. We'll get you more free content. Content You can subscribe to the channel. Any comments or questions about your swing, put it down below. Get to it as soon as I can. At scratchgolfacademy.com, we've got a host of content I think you'd find usable and and helpful to you. I hope you go there and check it out. And I hope this helps you get started to stopping slicing.